Hey everybody, welcome back to Royal Tarot Readings. This is my fun channel that I do for tarot readings on the royal family. All information presented in this video is for fun and entertainment purposes only. It's fun. It's tarot. I'm just a gal with cards. Alright, so um, first, I'm sorry I was gone for a few days. We had unexpected company over and I just couldn't carve out some time to do the readings that I really, really wanted to do. But I am back now. So, let's take a look today at um, this. Uh, I was watching Talk TV with uh, Kinsey Schofield and um, Christo, I believe his name is. But they're always very entertaining. <clears throat> and they're talking about this new book that's being released called My Mother and I by Ingrid Stewart, I believe. Um, and it's about, supposed to be from King Charles's perspective about um, his life with his mother. So, let's take a look at this because there was all kinds of interesting information in there. Um, how Harry has a victim mentality because of Charles. And this is all allegedly. I haven't seen the book yet. This is what they were talking about. Um, because Charles has a victim mentality and so Harry has gotten it from King Charles. How Prince Philip thought that Meghan Markle was, um, it was uncanny how much she reminded him of the Duchess of Windsor who, of course, was um, Wallace Simpson, and that he always referred to her as D-O-W, for Duchess of Windsor. Um, he also said that, um, or in the book, she said that the Queen, Queen Elizabeth, um, whom I miss desperately, my goodness, um, uh, the late Queen Elizabeth II, said that Diana was a better match for Prince Andrew, and that Diana had grown up, um, you know, um, playing hide and seek with Prince Andrew, and she had had more interaction with the royal family before she was 16, which is when they all said that she set her sights on Prince Charles. So then Prince Charles. So that's interesting. I'm, I'm going to look at that. And that Queen Camilla, she said that Queen Camilla was a much more suited for Charles. And Kinsey Schofield had said, I never heard that. I've never heard that either. So I would like to look at that one too. Um, so let's take a look at some of this very interesting information. I have a new tarot deck. It's called the Lost Soul Tarot. Kind of seemed like we have some lost souls going on here. So let's go ahead and take a look at all this very, very interesting stuff that's going to be coming out in this book called My Mother and I. All right, so here's my new tarot deck. Again, black and gold. You know me, I just love these. Some very beautiful illustrations here. They really, really stand out, which is nice for a video. So anyway, all right, so let me go ahead and start shuffling and we're gonna go through these questions. Sorry for the long, the long wrap up, but I wanted to give you information in case you haven't seen that, um, that video that was posted yesterday from Talk TV. All right, so let's take a look at here. Did Prince Philip view Meghan Markle as another Duchess of Windsor. Is that how he saw her? As in that she reminded him very much, whoops, of the Duchess of Windsor. Oh, goodness, three ones. And that, um, so he called her D-O-W. Is that, is that the case? And did the Queen think that Diana was a better match for Prince Andrew? Did she think that Diana was a better match for Prince Andrew? And did the queen think that Camilla was more suited for Charles? Did she actually think that? Did the queen actually think that? And um, this was apparently before they got married, that uh, Diana and Charles got married. So did the queen think that way back then? That Camilla was, a better, was better suited for then Prince Charles. And... Um, who was it who felt that Camilla was not suited for Prince Charles? Because we've heard all the stories that Camilla was, you know, Prince Charles was told that Camilla was not a good match for him, that she was not suitable to be the his wife, Princess of Wales, and eventual queen. So who was the one who thought that? Who was the one who dissuaded uh, then Prince Charles from being with Camilla? And um, in Oates Scobie's book, Finding Freedom, there was also a reference that Prince Philip said that Meghan Markle was Harry's showgirl. Is that, did he actually refer to, to Meghan? Whoops, okay. <laughs> All right, these are getting ready here. I have a few more questions, so hang on, hang on, hang on. Okay, so that, did Prince Philip say that Meghan Markle was Harry's showgirl? And I've got a few more questions here. 
did Prince Philip feel that Meghan Markle was sent, that she was a setup? Because I've heard that as well, that Prince Philip felt that Meghan Markle was sent after Harry and that she was a setup. And so if that's true, who sent Meghan Markle after Prince Harry? Was she sent after Prince Harry to destroy the royal family? Is that is that true? Is is who who sent Meghan Markle after Prince Harry? And is this information ever going to come out? If that's true, is this information ever going to come out? Oops, in the full reverse. Okay. Ugh. These cards are just ready to talk, and I have one more question. Okay, one more question, and we'll get to it. Did Philip make sure that the Queen, Queen Elizabeth II, adjusted her will to exclude Harry and Meghan? Is Prince, because that's another rumor that Prince Philip encouraged the Queen to adjust her will to exclude Harry and Meghan. All right, those are all my questions. I have nine questions, and the cards are definitely have said that they're chatty, ready to go. Yep, okay. So we'll do one or two more shuffles, and then we will lay out our cards. All right, we'll do one more here. Maybe another one. All right, we're going to go with this one here. All right, I'm going to cut. There we go. And nine questions. We'll do nine cards. All right, hope everybody is well today. <clears throat> I have been, I've tried so many times to get in here in my little room to do some readings. I just haven't had the free time to do it. Okay, so we have nine. There we go. Underline energy is... Ooh, the Six of Swords. Oh, my goodness. And there's the Six of Cups again. Wow, I can't count the number of times I've had a Six of Cups as the underlying energy. Wow. Okay, so the two Sixes. That's interesting. Oh, my gosh. You know what the next one was? The Six of Pentacles. Six, six, six. Are you kidding me? Oh, God, I just got goosebumps. Oh, my God. And the next one was the Emperor in Reverse. Okay, I'm just going to have to go with these. All right. So the Six of Swords is about uh, wanting to escape, wanting to leave. It can be about going overseas. It can be about um, uh, going from troubled waters to calm waters. Just wanting to escape the situation. Okay. And then we have the Six of Cups in Reverse. And that's about the past... Returning to your childhood, um, wanting to go back to a, a time when things were simpler. Again, about escape. And then the Six of Pentacles is about giving and receiving, that that's, the reciprocity is balanced. And then the Emperor in reverse, that's of course the crown. So the, the crown under attack. Oh my goodness. All right, that's a lot of underlying energy. Um, I didn't think I was going to get this much for this reading, but I'm, wow. Those first three cards, that's really crazy. Okay, so let's see. My first question was, did Prince Philip view Meghan Markle as another Duchess of Windsor? Oh my God. <laughs> wow. Yeah, he viewed her as the end she was going to cause an ending. Oh my goodness. And he wanted, they had to be able to escape from the situation. And they needed to go back to a simpler time. Giving and receiving needed to be balanced. And this was going to be the end of the monarchy. Oh my goodness. So he viewed her as someone who was going to be an ending was going to make it seem like they wanted to escape. Oh my gosh. And the Six of Cups, um, going back to a, a time of, of uh, going back to the past. Six of Pentacles, Reciprocity, and the end of the monarchy. Wow. Yikes. He saw her as a lot. He knew I don't know if Prince Philip had was psychic or if he had 
I mean, I know he was extremely smart. And of course, at his age, you just learned, you know, nobody. You, you, he was the type of person that he was not going to miss anything. He noticed everything. And um, I think he noticed BS when he saw it. <laughs> so, wow, he viewed her as an ending. Oh, my goodness. Okay, did the queen think that Diana was a better match with Prince Andrew? Did she think that? The fool in reverse. He thought that, okay, the fool upright is about just new beginnings, willing to try everything, just, um, um, you know, uh, n new things to try. And in reverse, it was jumping in without even thinking, not thinking through. You could run right off a cliff and just take everybody with you. Oh, my goodness. Yeah, I think, I think she did. She thought that Diana was going to be better with Andrew than Charles, that with Charles she would run off a cliff. Wow. And that, um, okay, let's go in the order that these came out. And that uh, with Charles, she was going to, he, he was going to want to escape eventually, which he did. And he was, she was from his past. Six of Pentacles is about giving and receiving. That the giving and receiving would probably not be, not be balanced with them. And that she wasn't going to be good for the monarchy. Wow. Wow, that's surprising. She did think that. Okay, and the, did the queen think that Camilla was more suited for Charles? Did she think that Camilla was more suited for Charles? Oh, the Ace of Swords reversed. Oh, my goodness. So upright, it's about um, a new idea, um, wanting to go forth with new plans. And in reverse, it's about rethinking an idea, um, clouded judgment, confusion, and failure. So did the Queen think that Camilla was more suited for Charles? I don't think she did. Maybe she did later, but back then I don't think she did. If she did ever say that, it was at a later time. Hmm. Interesting. Oh, and then, okay, and then, um, because she felt like, uh, uh Camilla was looking for something else. She was wanting to escape the situation even though she was from his past, the giving and receiving might have been balanced between the two of them, but she did not think it was good for the crown for some reason. She, she did not think Camilla was a good match for her, for, for um, then Prince Charles. Okay, so I, I'm, I'm going to say that I don't think that one's true. Okay, so who felt that Camilla was not suitable to marry, then Prince Charles. Who was the person who kind of put the brakes on that? The Page of Pentacles reversed. Okay, so this is about um, lack of progress, procrastination, trying, 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 but no results. I think that it was because then Prince Charles was not getting anywhere. I believe Camilla at that time was very was romantically involved with uh, Andrew Parker Bowles, and he he could not make any progress with her. And the Page of Pentacles. I remember him talking to his um, Lord Mountbatten, uh, who ended up being um, uh, murdered by the IRA, uh, which was extremely devastating for. Prince Charles at the time, and Diana was the one who comforted him on, on that loss. But I, I think that um, it was probably Lord Mountbatten who got the, the idea in his head. But it was uh, Charles at the time was feeling that he was not getting anywhere. And then when Diana was there and comforted him on the loss of uh, Lord Mountbatten, I think that's what, what made the, the connection between the two. 
um, because again, the Six of Swords wanting to escape, wanting to, you know, go somewhere else. Um, the Six of Cups and Diana was from his past as well. The both, both women were from his past, from his childhood. And the Six of Pentacles, he was going to look for balance on giving and receiving. And he was looking for someone who was going to be good for the monarchy. But um, it seemed like that Camilla was not interested and was not interested in being in the monarchy. Interesting. So I think it was a combination of, of then Prince Charles and Lord Mountbatten who decided, and even Camilla herself was deciding that she was not interested in becoming part of the royal family. Interesting. Um, so, in Omid Scobie's book, Finding Freedom, did Prince Philip say that Meghan Markle was Harry's showgirl? And I'm going to explain kind of what that reference is. Um, okay, so this is um, the Seven of Cups reversed. So this is about, the Seven of Cups is about um, chasing after a pipe dream, kind of being overwhelmed, kind of going after that shiny object that ends up having a lot of power over you, but is worth very little. Oh, I think he did. And the reference of the showgirl back in, uh, and Prince Philip would have remembered this movie, The Prince and the Showgirl with, uh, I think it was with Lord Olivier, or Lord Olivier, he is Lord now, Lawrence Olivier and um, uh, Marilyn Monroe. And it was a story about a, a prince who falls in love with a, a showgirl. And in the end, she's the one who tells him that it would be better for him to not get together with her. But I think that he felt that Meghan Markle was Harry's showgirl, someone who was just a shiny object, not worth much, allegedly, and um, just someone that he um, would not be good for him, that he would eventually want to escape from, that um, he was worried about her past. Interesting. Um, he felt that the giving and receiving was probably not there and that it would not be good for the monarchy. So, yeah, he absolutely did view her as um, Prince Harry's showgirl. Okay, now, next question here. Did Prince Philip feel that Meghan Markle was sent, that she was a setup? Oh my God, the high priest is in reverse. Uh, he, he absolutely did. Wow. Oh my goodness. Okay. So that's about secrets, gossip, hidden agendas. Oh my goodness. Hiding your intuition, feeling that you'll be judged. Oh my goodness. He absolutely felt that she was sent, that she had a hidden agenda and that he was, he felt very, very strongly about it, but he was careful who he said that to because he didn't want the rest of the family to judge him. Wow, that's unusual for Prince Philip. Okay, so he felt she was sent from overseas. Ooh. Someone from overseas sent her and that she, she had a past that he was afraid of. And that um, giving and receiving was going to be a problem. And it was going to be, it was going to be very bad for the monarchy. Oh my goodness, so he absolutely sent, felt that she was sent, that she had a hidden agenda. He knew. He absolutely knew. And on top of the, the fool reversed, it was very, very risky. It was extremely risky for Harry to get involved with her. Wow. And that's the death card too. It would be the end of the monarchy. Oh my goodness. Wow. Okay. So who sent Meghan Markle after Prince Harry? Queen of Wands reversed. Oh, that's interesting. So the Queen of Wands reversed is um, talking about being introverted. You're handing power over to someone else without paying attention to the thoughts and opinions of that person that you've handed power over to. Oh my goodness. So she was sent by someone who just kind of pushed her in that direction and had one agenda for her and allegedly Meghan Markle had a completely different agenda. Wow. So handing power over to someone and not really thinking about what their thoughts and opinions were, what they were capable of doing. Oh my goodness. She's 
she was sent to try to, uh, this person is overseas from the past, was going to try to have the giving and receiving balanced, but it was not intended to help the monarchy. It was intended to undermine the monarchy. Okay, so who was this? Who is this Queen of Wands from overseas? I was the the only person that comes to mind, and I don't know if it was from overseas, was um, the Duchess of York. Would she be a Queen of Wand? I'm going to have to do a clarify. Um, I may do a pendulum work at the end here and clarify on that. Because I'm not sure if that's Sarah, Duchess of York, or if that was um, someone else. Hmm. Interesting. Okay. Hmm. All right. I'm gonna have to. I'm gonna have to clarify that one. Okay. And is this information ever gonna come out? Is the information about who sent Meghan Markle allegedly ever going to come out? The Hanged Man reversed. We are getting a lot of reversals. I think we've only had one upright card. And that's death. Wow. My goodness. Okay, so um, this is about delays, resistance, and stalling. Um, knowing that the information has to come out, but not feeling like it's ready. You're not feeling like you're ready to release it. Ooh. Okay. So, is this ever going to come out? It'll come out from overseas. And when it comes out, it's going gonna, it's gonna to come out revealing something about the past. Of course, about her who sent Meghan Markle allegedly. And it's going to be something about giving and receiving here. The Six of Pentacles is kind of confusing me a little bit. Um, how it was actually, well, it, it was meant not to be as bad as it was, that it was meant to have more of a balance, but it didn't turn out that way. And it is going to affect the monarchy. Absolutely. It's going to put the monarchy in a bad light. Oh my goodness. It's going to come out, but the person who has the information is, doesn't feel like they're ready to release it. Whew. This is a confusing reading. Okay. And did, did Prince Philip make sure that Queen Elizabeth adjusted her will to exclude Harry and Meghan Markle? Allegedly. Ooh, the Queen of Cups reversed. Okay, so this is about your inner feelings, codependency. Your intuition is on overdrive and you're ready to focus on, but you need to focus on yourself and the situation that you have so many feelings and your intuition is telling you what to do. And you need to start listening to it. Oh, wow. I think he did. He absolutely did. He made sure that this is also about transition. He made sure that this transition was going to happen. And that she was going to revisit the past, revisit her will. She needed to balance the giving and receiving so that it would not, that it would not, adversely affect the monarchy and it actually was going to adversely affect the, mon the monarchy but that they had to do it wow I think he really did he did encourage her allegedly to adjust her will to remove Harry and Meghan wow oh dear we have that glare again okay um oh my goodness all right let's do a wrap up here did Prince Philip view Meghan Markle as another Duchess of Windsor and call her D.O.W.? He absolutely did. He viewed her as the end. He viewed her as the end of the monarchy, that she could have the same, almost the same effect that Wallace did, where the monarchy was, was in trouble. And that um, he viewed her as someone who came from overseas, um, someone who was trying to... Um, trying to seem like, and again, from the past, she was someone, he was worried about her past. 
and he was worried that the giving and receiving was not going to be balanced and that um, that she was going to be a detriment to the monarchy. Absolutely. This is a threat to the monarchy right here. This whole thing right here, death to the monarchy. That's what he was afraid of. He saw her as just like Wallace Simpson, that it could have been the end of the monarchy. And did the queen think that Diana was uh, a better match for Prince Andrew? Okay, so this is about reckless, holding back, and worried. She was worried. She was worried that Diana was not going to be a good match for then Prince Charles. That, absolutely, that is true. She did feel that way. Um, and did the queen think Camilla was more suited for Charles? I, not back then. I don't think so. It, maybe she felt that way later, but she did not think that way back then. So that may be a timing thing. Um, and who felt that Camilla um, was not suitable to marry then Prince Charles? And I think that was Prince Charles himself and that he confided with Lord Mountbatten. But I think Prince Charles himself felt that uh, she was not a good match for him because he was trying everything and nothing was working because she was in love with um, Andrew Parker Bowles. And then... Um, in um, Omid Scobie's book, um, did Philip say that Meghan Markle was Harry's showgirl? Yeah, he did. <laughs> that was a shiny object you don't need to fool around with. He was just attracted to her because she was a shiny object, but she didn't have any depth. There was nothing there, nothing substantial, and that she was going to be bad for him. Okay. And did Prince Philip feel that Meghan Markle was sent, that she was a setup? He absolutely felt that. High Priestess in reverse. Wow, what a powerful card. We have a lot of Arcanas here, too. Goodness. We have one, two, three, four, five. Wow, five Arcanas out of nine cards. Wow. Okay. Oh, my goodness. And then who sent Meghan Markle after Prince Harry? It was someone who's introverted and who... I don't think meant to be as bad for it to come out as badly as it did. They underestimated Meghan Markle and what her goals were. So allegedly someone pushed her towards Prince Harry, but they didn't think about what Meghan Markle was actually going to do. Allegedly. Is the info ever going to come out? It probably will come out. Um, so the person who has the information is hiding it right now and they don't feel that it, they're ready to release it, but they will. They will at some point. And did Prince Philip think that um, the Queen, or did he make sure that the Queen adjusted her will to remove Harry and Meghan? He, he absolutely did. He encouraged her big time, and she took it to heart. She did an introspection of herself and the monarchy to feel like what was best for the monarchy. Oh my goodness, what an interesting reading. Okay, so I'm going to do a little pendulum work now because I, I want to see, I want to see who that Queen of Wands is. I don't know if it's going to tell me, but oh. Goodness, where's my mat? Oh, when I came back from traveling, what did I do with it? Oh, here it is. Okay, good. I did bring it out. Okay. Um, let's see here. Okay, there we go. So let's go ahead and see who is this Queen of Wands. All right. Uh, for the Queen of Wands who sent allegedly sent Meghan Markle, was that Sarah, Duchess of York? Is she the one who sent Meghan Markle? No. No. It wasn't Sarah. Okay. Was it... Uh, who could this have been? Um, let's see. How can I phrase this? Was this someone from the royal family? Was it someone from the royal family who sent Meghan Markle? Was it someone from the royal family who sent Meghan Markle? Was it someone from the royal family who sent Meghan Markle to Prince Harry? Was it someone from the royal family who sent Meghan Markle to Prince Harry? It's... Okay, there we go. I didn't think it was going to answer me. Yes? It was someone from the royal family? I thought for sure that was going to be a no. Oh my goodness. Um, who could this have been? 
this this was was this a woman from the royal family who sent Meghan Markle? Was this a woman from the royal family? Yes. All right, one one more one more question here. Was it one of the York girls? Was it one of the York girls who sent Meghan Markle to Prince Harry? Was it one of the York girls? Oh my God, it was. <laughs> okay, one more question. Was Princess Eugenie, Eugenie, was it Princess Eugenie who sent Meghan Markle to Prince Harry? Was it Princess Eugenie? Was it Princess Eugenie? Oh my gosh, it was. Are you kidding me? Allegedly, entertainment purposes only. I did not expect that. Oh my goodness. Okay, well there you go. Um, That was very surprising. Okay, I hope you guys enjoyed that. Please leave your comments below. Let me know what you think. Um, and uh, if you want to, if you, again, if you want to sign up for a private reading, uh, I have all the links in the description box below. Just click on the one you want. 15 minute, 30 minute, 45 minute. I've done a lot of these. I've gotten some really good feedback. Um, people are really enjoying them. So if you want a, a private reading, just uh, make sure and sign up. If you're a subscriber, why, thank you so much. I appreciate all my subscribers. If you're not a subscriber, what the heck are you waiting for? Look at this great reading here. This was really a good one. Um, you need to click on that button, subscribe, and make sure to click the notification bell so you don't miss another reading. Thank you so much, everyone. I hope you enjoyed this. Um, we'll see you again soon. I'm going to have, hopefully, another reading. Two more that I wanted to do over this weekend. I'll try to get them out today. Thanks, guys. We'll see you soon. Bye-bye.